Um, the reason I'm here is we got a call. Somebody is weirded out because there's a felon threatened or harassed. What are you doing, dude? Taking pictures and video. <laughs> Do you mind if I ask the purpose for why you're here, sir? Or? Public audit! First Amendment, go USA! Serious? Do you mind if I ask your name, sir? Uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah? Mm -hmm. Do you have your ID on you? Uh, for what? Yeah, guys, it's Saturday, October 7th, 10.41 in the morning, and we are at Starbucks again. They pulled my video once. Now they hit me with another privacy complaint this morning. So, yeah, I'm not going to let it stand there. So we're back here at Starbucks. As always, you're going to hang around for a little bit. Maybe meet some nice people. Maybe not. And we'll go from there. Forgot to tell you guys. Um, that little uh, poll thing I did for whatever you guys wanted next for the camera. And gimbal's just not going to happen. Not while I'm riding around on the bike. That's just impossible to break down and set up get alone ride around with um so i got a cage for the camera hopefully if my skills are getting better i'll pop a picture up of it on the screen here uh we almost we also got the dji uh wireless microphones you guys should hear me a whole lot better now um still got to get a shotgun mic to match him but so far, so good. I've done a couple test runs, I guess you could say, and I've been pretty impressed. So everybody can quit ragging on me now because of the background noise and my voice. But these things are amazing. They just keep getting busier and busier. up? I don't know. I'm I don't know. She seemed pretty cool. Oh, and I am talking on this audit. I made a promise to one of the viewers. They said they were going to unsubscribe. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, because they missed me talking. So I promised them if they wouldn't uns unsubscribe that I would talk on the next one. So, I forget your name, but I hold up my end. Hopefully you're still here around. I got these things. They come in their own charging case with all kinds of adapters. I'll put something on the screen. These things are amazing. No, I came back here about a week ago. Starbucks didn't like me recording, so I'm coming back again. Oh. Do your thing, man. Yeah. Nice wave. I hope that thing's not on. Oh, it's on. Oh, great. It's like a beauty magnet. It's just following you. Oh, great, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll clean up next time. Have a good day, ma'am. I got a message from No Bones Pressed. If you guys haven't seen him yet, go check out his channel. Uh, he he sent me the GSI uh, page on Starbucks, basically showing their property lines and everything. And where I was standing last time, right there, was on their property. So, today, I'm standing right on the edge of their drive through Let me get a better look for you. So, here's the drive through Believe it or not, their property line is on the other side of this curb, closest to the um, business. So technically, these cars aren't even on Starbucks parking lot. Or they're not on their property, I mean. 
I know it seems really weird, but they do own this entire drive up until that fire hydrant. As soon as they hit the, the bushes there, that's where they, their property ends. And the sidewalk on the other side of the building and the first lane of actual car travel, they own that property. But I think we all know how easements work. Can't make people walk out in the traffic, stay off your property. Before, this would have been bouncing around like crazy. This cage really helps. Plus, it gives me something to mount all this stuff we're getting. I hope you guys are happy. I know I am. I was getting tons of audio complaints. Understandably now. Now that I've heard what it's supposed to sound like. I don't know how half you guys stayed with me. Peace sign. What you filming? Everything and everyone. Alrighty. What's your name? My name's Lily. Lily? Jeremiah. Jeremiah? Yep. Are they like for like YouTube or something? Uh yeah. Something like that. Is it like, like what is it? It is. I came and filmed here the other day. Uh huh. And Starbucks told me I couldn't. Oh, really? So they pulled my video. So now I'm back. Okay. And you can tell them that if, if they ask you. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'll do that for you. All awesome. Right? Thank you. Amen. This lady's doing her hair and her makeup. Don't worry about all these cars. You do you, girl. Well, guys, how do you want to do it? Let's be nice today. I'm in a good mood. You here for me? You want a coffee? Yeah, it happens. There's nothing in my pocket but breath mints. I'll show you. That's fine. Thank you for doing that. I appreciate yep. it. Yep. So like I said, I'm Officer Hammond. I'm on a boost problem. I just want to let you know we're being audio and video recorded. Okay. Uh, and the reason I'm here is we got a call. Somebody is weirded out because there's a felon threat and we're harassed. You, you yeah, know, people are... Uh, customers or... Um, I haven't talked to anyone that hasn't talked to me. I'm sorry, what? Do you need to get that? I was just listening, but what did you say? I haven't talked to anyone that hasn't talked to me. Okay. I don't, I I never engage anyone. Okay. Do you mind if I ask the purpose for why you're here, sir? Or uh, I like taking pictures. Um, just random people, or? No, just around town. Okay. So, are you, I'm not sure if you're on the public property, or are you on Starbucks property, or? This is not Starbucks property. Do you know where we're standing right now? Mm-hmm. Where are we standing right now? You tell me. What property? I can go check. I was just curious if you knew where you were standing, too. Because the Starbucks, they, they're, they're yep. the ones who call, right? They don't, they don't want you on their property. Gotcha. Well, I'm not on their property. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was asking. Hello, sir. He's saying that he's photographing people. Uh, he hasn't been engaging with anybody that hasn't been talking to him. Or more, than, to him. more than nice, polite. I'm not... Nothing vulgar, nothing intrusive, nothing like that. Do you mind if I ask your name, sir? Uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah? Mm -hmm. Do you have your ID on you? Uh, for what? For me to check your ID, sir, see who you are, if you are who you say you are. Um, do I have to ID? No, you do Sir, oh. of course you know the answer to this question. You know whether or not you want to play the name. So if you want play to the what? You know whether or not you want to provide your name. So if you want oh, to provide your name. I thought you, you said play the game. You may or you may not. It's up to you. At this time, no thank you. Perfect. Can I show you something real quick? Uh, 
the same as last time. I don't the property. I have to check the property line. I can show you a picture of the GIS survey. They don't. So we'll see what they have. Okay. You're not interested in talking to me? Sir, right now you're interrupting me while I discuss with my partner. Thank you. I won't have your time in a moment. I'll have a little bit Can I show you a picture of the GIS survey? You're welcome to talk to my partner. I, I, to show me what you like, sir. You don't really seem interested, so. Well, that's not accurate. That's, not accurate. that's your assumption. Okay. So what about what I'm doing bothers you? Well, nothing bothers me, sir. You just seem pretty short. No, no, I'm just efficient. Okay. What was your name? I'm Sergeant Bond. Nice to meet you. Bond. And your badge number? Uh, I'm Sam 12. Sam 12. Yep. Thank you. You know that's not a parking spot, right? Pardon me? You know that's not a parking spot, right? Right, but there's also RCW for emergency situations, so allows law enforcement to park. They'd be able to handle any situations that was law related. Okay. As soon as we get it resolved. We'll say that again. I didn't catch that. That was really fast. Can you say I'm, that again? I'm lawful to park there, sir. Thank you. Well, you said it was the RCW. What's the RCW? No, no, I didn't say RCW. I said there are laws that cover that. Sir, I'm not going to engage with you in this. I'm situation. just asking you a no, question. Sir? You're blocking the... So All right. To a certain degree, you appear to possibly have an inquisitive at a minimum thing. And this in time, I'm worried about his priority and getting priorities here and monitoring the radio. Okay. Right now, I'm trying to help you out to be able to do what you'd like to do. Sounds great. You drink Starbucks? I drink all sorts of coffee, sir. I'm a police officer. I, drink, <laughs> I go stop all around town. I think it tastes like dirt. Some people aren't a coffee fan. Some of their coffee gross. I don't care for either. Yeah. But that's the same way with anything. All depends on how you True. It. True. It's amazing how busy they are. They wouldn't be as big as they are without a customer base. True. You remember when this was a bank? I've been here 28 years. I yep. remember lots of things used to be lots of things. Big Tom's used to be across the street there. And now it is a bank, the irony. Yeah. That's when Tom was alive. Really? used to cook breakfast for a local church around here. Huh. Can't say I even thought about Tom. Just, you know, Wendy's. Well, it's good to know the historical data of different things. It's kind of fun. It's entertaining. Absolutely. Yeah, you know the historical data, you kind of see how life kind of evolves, I guess. Good battery. Good battery. You cannot be a good steward of your community if you don't know your community. So, to know the history is to get an understanding. Helps you relate to people better. I agree. Hope they got that window down far enough. Pardon me? I was just saying, I hope they got that, that dog's window down far enough. They do have it. It looks like they do actually have a crack. Okay. I can't tell. So what other calls have you guys gotten today? Nothing really that exciting. A couple of collisions, suspicious persons, that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. You guys going down the art walk? 
Olympia. No, in Olympia, no, we'll stay within our jurisdiction. I didn't know if you guys kind of crossed over for big events or anything we like that. We will for certain priorities, but they'll ask us if they need help. They haven't needed it, so. Gotcha. I'll be right back. Yep. Yeah. I know you guys are going to say I'm talking too much, but just polite chit chat. They start pushing issues like the ID, then we definitely don't have to answer any of that. But so far, they've been pretty cool. They're going to say that I was here the other day harassing people causing all kinds of problems. I was on their property last time, though. This time I'm not. And that cop, uh, Baum, Baum, something like he's a sergeant, just, there's literally two right there. He's probably parked there just so he can keep me on dash cam. That just dawned on me. That makes sense. But, there's lots of other places you could park facing me that isn't blocking a ton of traffic. Oh, I wish I had my shotgun mic right now. We're not bothering anyone. We're not harassing anyone. We're not threatening anyone. We're not obstructing anyone. We are standing out of their property with a camera, not engaging with anyone that doesn't want to engage. So I can't see them doing anything other than threatening, threatening to trespass me if I don't leave. Trying to figure out exactly what they can do. I don't think they want to do anything, though. They look like they're more annoyed with this call than anything. But like the sergeant said, they haven't had squat going on today, so... Whoever that subscriber was that I promised I would talk, <laughs> this wouldn't have been a really good one to stay silent on with these guys, but we're talking. We're talking. Okay. I didn't know what you're doing. You're not on their property. You're not on their curtilage. We're not going to take any action on it. I appreciate um, that. Their, their intent is if you did go in there because it's a private business, I told them that obviously you sound like a well-educated human being just talking with you briefly. I don't break the law. That's my point. Yeah. And so what I told them is if they said, you know, if you went in there, they wouldn't want you to trespass. We're not going to cross that bridge unless that happens. So gotcha. I told them that you seem more, more than intelligent enough to know where that right and left line is, and that's probably not likely going to happen. So. And I don't push the line. Yeah, so. that's my point. Well, thank you. And your name, Sergeant? Sergeant Bond. Bond. Yep. Thank you for knowing your stuff. Now, well, 28 years, you kind of get used to it. Yeah, I've seen cops with 28 years that are just a disgrace. Well, I've got a good name. I intend to tire with a good name. Life is good. I love to hear that. Intend to communication over reaction. Seems like it boils down to ego most of the time. For what, for what worth? There's no worth to it. Exactly. But. I'd rather have an open dialogue. Yeah. And not gather superfluous information that I don't have a legal right to get and have an open dialogue with you than have a exactly. some sort of challenge that doesn't need to go anything. So. Exactly. 
kind of the governmental interest versus the criminal act. It's just it's, it's not worth it. Well, it's not it's not worth it. We're not going to do it. So. Well, you're doing better than Olympia. Thanks. I'll take that as a problem. The run-ins I've had with them are just abhorrent. Well, I assume you're well educated on the difference between going inside someone's private business and our standing there versus being outside in a public building. So. Yeah. That's why you're here. Well, yeah, this is my purpose. Whether people understand it or agree with it, like you said. I'm going to be boring for your recordings, all I'm saying, because I'm, I'm just going to talk no. to you and educate. No, no. I have no problem talking to officers that I'm actually want to talk. That's good for lack of another word, a little litany test, and yeah. I'm okay with it every day of the week. Cool. Have a good day. Yeah. Thank you, you guys. Jeremiah? Jeremiah, sir. Jeremiah. Yep. Look at his name and badge number one more time. What? Remind me again the name and badge number? Yeah, sure. Uh, badge number 14, Officer Hammond. Hammond. Yep, take care, man. Thank you for your job. Or doing your job. Hey. Well, I wonder if Starbucks has got the point yet. If they want to keep pushing this, well, guess what? I push back. So the question for Starbucks is, how many days in a row do you want me here? I am unbelievably stubborn. Especially when I know I'm in the right. So, Starbucks, if you're watching this, ball's in your court. You control what happens next. And there goes the sergeant. Okay, just for the record. Camping all the way back in the corner there. Tag. Vehicle number. And a picture for good measure. Now he's coming. Mm -hmm. And bye bye. I do have to say, cops did good. Sounds like they did their research did their investigation and came to the obvious conclusion that nothing is going on. Everybody. Because I want to. Uh, I don't need one. Oh, well, that's too bad. Trouble? Ugh. Yep, we're still being watched. Let's see if he uses his blinker. Yep. He can't park for shit, but he knows his blinkers. Hate when you cops do that. Rules for thee, but not for me. What's it look like? For me. Nah, YouTube. P and W transparency. Have a good day.
getting good shots? Trying to. Yeah. Yeah. So you did see, see if the top cops. Yeah, you don't. You don't gotta get that close. Oh, no, it's it's good. Just occupational hazard. Oh yeah. So Randy Hirashi, I saw the cops there talking to you. Uh, well, don't you have to be on private property? No, you don't want to be on private property. Oh, excuse me, public property. I'm sorry, what we're talking about. Yeah. Is this public property? Uh. Uh. Let's just say it's not Starbucks property. Yeah, why well, well, I know. I have the answer. I wouldn't ask the question. Gotcha. Oh, this is an easement owned by the, those guys over there involved with this building. So Starbucks actually owns that. Actually. The they, GIS survey? They, they own half of it. The GIS federal survey mm-hmm. says that their property goes all the way to that curb. Starbucks doesn't own any of this. They lease it from a guy named Pat Burschauer. Well, I don't mean yeah. own it, yeah. but that's their boundaries, I guess. Yeah. There's a better word. Starbucks owns nothing here. They lease it. Well, the lease stops at that drive through curb. Yeah. This whole drive through isn't theirs. No, I don't want... Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. All this. So all this is leased. I think half the road here is Burschauer. Yeah. Who, they're the tenant. And then the other half goes to Safeway, the gas station, and the park goes... To, I, so I did a deal on this property years oh. ago. Oh, so you know where everything is then. Pretty close. Well, I don't know about it. Oh, you just waiting for me to say something stupid then? No, I don't care. I, I, I <laughs> yeah. love what you. I watch you guys all the time getting the cops out here being stupid idiots, right? I, I don't do it for the cops. No? No, no. It's education. To educate the cops. Educate everyone. Take it. I got a bunch of I, I've Actually, I've got the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence sitting in my coffee table at home. Nice. So, uh, yep, First Amendment. Amen. So... So, yeah, because I know my buddy, Andy, I grew up with him since second grade. The capist, the dentist. So I know he, I know what he owns in here because I did, did some leasing in here. And Burschauer actually owns all this and that building and that apartment building behind here. So. I used to go to Dr. Dolby uh, back in the Dr. day. Dolby. Uh, Tim. He was a nice guy. He, yeah, he's not around anymore. But... Oh, that's too bad. He's out. Uh, what, did he die or did he move? No, they moved. Oh, moved. Yeah, okay. was amazing. I tried selling his house. That's funny. Years and years ago, yeah. they were out on Sunrise Beach. Unbelievable house. Yeah. Well, my name's Jeremiah, by the way. John. John? Yeah, nice so to I meet you, up, man. My parents were right over here. So I'm just up visiting. I live in California. I don't care. I just, oh, yeah. you must be loving it up here then. This is nice right now. Yeah. But I'm going back later tonight. So. Have a safe trip, man. Nice to meet you. Hey, there's a shopping cart. Hi. What's up? Pictures? Pictures, video, stuff like that. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. My name is Jeremiah, by the way. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It's about the First Amendment. (laughs) Okay, well, First Amendment for me is making sure I really like the... There you go. Thank you. I carry a bunch of them. Okay. Have a good day. It's so crazy how one person can smile and wave and another person flips you off and another person calls the police on you. <clears throat> Jesus. What are you doing, dude? Taking pictures and video? <laughs> I saw when I came in. Dude. <laughs> Starbucks says I can't film them, so... I'm filming them. Oh, well, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah, total. Tell me what to do. Exactly. <laughs> Have a good day, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Public audit. First Amendment. Go USA. Serious? What's your name? Brad. Brad? I'd rather not. Yeah, that's <laughs> fine. You're on there. <laughs> <laughs> that was a funny guy. All right, guys. We've been here for a little over two hours. Not sure if Starbucks has gotten the point yet or not that even when you call police, I'm still gonna stand here. And I'll be back here every day if I need be. So the ball's in your court, Starbucks. So, hopefully for the last time from Starbucks in Tumwater, Washington, we out. You know, you know, you know, you know.